less stress, more time, more money. Welcome to the Cash Flow Contractor, short with Khalil Ben Ali Hajj. Hey guys, it's Khalil here with the Cash Flow Contractor. We're all about less stress, more time, more money, and hope that we can help you achieve that. So uh, today, I want to help you to capitalize on every single job from a marketing perspective. Really, it's also a customer service perspective, um, but really, sales, marketing, customer service, they're all tied together. So I really, you know, I want to show you the value of this, you know, someone that's that's putting in the effort to do what I'm talking about. You know, we had a client, you know, just last month closed two jobs from a single photo that we posted on social media. And we know specifically it was that job, that photo, right? The clients will even, uh, even mentioned it. Um, and the photo showed that it was, this is for a cabinet contractor. Um, and the photo showed, uh, I believe it was a paper towel roll and just how it slid into a drawer, a drawer had multiple paper towels uh, stocked in there, but also one roll where you could just click really easy without, there wasn't a door on the drawer, but you could just pull the paper towel out uh, and, and pull it off, rip it off. And then when it was empty, you just l- pulled a little handle and all the paper towels were in there and you could resupply it. Uh, really basic thing, uh, wasn't a big deal to the cabinet contractor, it was really easy to make, but to the client, when they saw it on social media, like, I need that in my home. I'm tired of paper towels being out on the, t- on the counters and being don't, not having a place in my kitchen, right? That's just an example of if you do this, you're going to be able to capitalize on that one job to create more jobs, right? So the reason why this stuff matters is, you know, case studies and results are what matter most to customers when they're in the decision-making process. When they're at that decision level, if you don't know what the decision level means of the buyer's journey, go back and listen to the buyer's journey short episode. Uh, But when they're in that decision level, they want to know results, case studies, testimonials, reviews. They really want to get a feel for what that's like. So how you do it, you have to document. Document, document, document. And contractors are notoriously awful at documenting. And it's one of the most difficult things to do, and that's why. But if you want to set yourself apart, document what you're doing. Here's what I mean by that. Number one, know where your jobs are coming from. Know if it's coming from a referral. If it is coming from a referral, make sure that referral gets a handwritten thank you note or even a small you know, gift, like a, a gift card to somewhere. Maybe it's something that you have that you can provide them. Um, yeah, whatever that is make sure you take care of those people because they're going to give you more referrals in the future and that's going to mean the world to them, right? But know where your jobs are coming from. If they're coming from social media, invest more in social media. If they're coming from, um, you know, an ad that you ran, put more money into that ad. If they're coming from a trade show that you went to, make sure that you're at that trade show trade show, and you double down with better materials uh, better uh, gifts at the at the booth, whatever it is. If you know where your jobs are coming from because you documented, you're going to be capitalizing on those jobs by getting more of those, right? Next thing, ask for reviews. On every single job that you do, you need to get a review. Your technicians, your your installers, whatever it is, whoever's on the job facing the the with the customer, right? They need to get a review. And if you can just give them a simple link, I outlined that in one of the last uh, shorts, um, about five quick wins for your marketing. If you can grab that link and have it in every technician's notes on their phone, they can text it. There's softwares that'll do this for you, right? That it's just a click of a button. But if you you don't want to invest in that, just make sure that you're getting a review link to every single customer, right? The next thing, create a survey that you can send to every single customer. This is actually something that we're doing for all of our clients. They've got a survey that they can send out. On that survey, it also, at the end of it, when they're done, it asks them to fill out a review for them if they haven't already on Google, on Facebook, right? But if you're getting a survey, that really helps you to understand what stood out to that customer. If it was your customer service, if if that's what stuck out to them the most, that's what you need to, that's where you can get quotes from that survey and put it onto the website. If you want to know 
if they felt like the pricing was too much or you know if there's anything that you're curious about and you're trying to improve get that survey filled out right the next thing is so important and is so key for contractors that do remodeling of any sort right if you're a cabinet contractor if you're a kitchen or um, you know maybe you work on specifically landscaping whatever it is photograph every single job and i'm not saying with your cell phone if that's all you have and you're not willing to invest in it i think you're silly but yeah get it with your cell phone go and get either a professional camera or find a professional photographer and set up some sort of um, agreement with them where they get a hundred dollars a job and build that into your quotes but get a photo of every single job it's going to make your website look better it's going to make your social media look better you're going to be able to hand those pictures over to clients afterwards to say, hey, we appreciate it. Here's your photos. You can share them on social media uh, with your friends. You can pass them out. It's only going to drive more business to you. Uh, at that same time, also get a photo of that client and put them on the website with that testimonial. It makes it feel that much more real. And your clients that are willing to be on the website will probably be like excited to be on somebody's website. Um, but get a photo of each job. If you're a contractor, especially in remodeling, it means the it, like everything for your customer is visual. They see a house, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. They see a kitchen, wow, that's incredible. Right? They see that outdoor pergola, man, I want that at my house. It's such a visual thing. The, the higher quality your photos, the higher quality your look, work is going to look. Okay, next thing, on that survey, or in person, ask them if they'd be willing to sit down for a 15, 20 minute interview for a testimonial, right? When you do that interview, record the entire thing. Just use your voice memo on your phone. It doesn't have to be rocket science, but sit down with them or have somebody on your team, whether it's your secretary or you know one of your salespeople, whatever it is, ask them a series of questions. How did you find us? What was, you know, what was your uh, journey like? What led you to want you know, a new kitchen in the first place, whatever it is. Then after they've gone uh, through all these different questions, understanding the entire process, what was so great about working with you, you can take that recording and send it to a writer, send it to your marketing company, send it to whoever and say, hey, I need a case study built. Will you write down the challenge, the solution, or the goal, the solution in a paragraph format using this audio? Can you get... Can you create something for me that's really showing a case study of this project? Then what you can do is add the photos to that case study, put it on your website on its own page, link to it from social media, link to it clearly on the website. And then now you've got the best proof that you could ever have that people should work with you. So whenever you send out that quote, hey, here's a link to five case studies of people that were in your exact shoes that worked with us and here's what they thought. Right? Here's what it was like for them. Here's the result. That's going to make a world of difference for your sales, for your marketing. It's going to show great customer service. Um, that shows that you're really invested in them. You're able to thank them multiple times throughout this process. Yes, it's more work, but document, document, document. It will change the way that you, your business grows. It'll make it so much easier. And you're going you're gonna to have something to show for your work. There's so many contractors that, out there that do incredible work but don't have the proof to show it. They don't have the testimonials. They don't have the, the professional photos. They don't have the case studies. And that's what really is so valuable. Go and document, document, document. All right. If you want to be better at this, and I know that I just you know flew through this in a short episode, we've got a project follow-up blueprint, right? It's everything that you need to be doing following up on a project, right? If you want to download that, it's, you can, it's in the show notes. Just follow it. It'll, it's a checklist that will take you through everything that you need to do, okay? Um, thanks for listening. I hope this is helpful. Would love to hear any questions, anything that you feel like should be added to this, anything that I didn't um, you know, talk about or explain clearly, let me know. Send, send us a message. Send us an email in the show notes. Would love to hear from you. Um, and if you'd love to see an example, send me an email. I'll send you an example personally, right? Uh, appreciate you guys. Go out there, keep growing, become a cash flow contractor. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the cash flow contractor. 
Check out our website in the show notes or visit thecashflowcontractor.com.